Happy Wednesday, viewers. Um, this game came out of nowhere. It's a uh, midweek game. Wallingham Wednesday versus Sanderstead midweek 11. Wicket's just gone. Uh, Wallingham batting. It's 92 for six now. Apologies for being a little bit late, viewers. If I'm being totally honest, I couldn't be bothered. But here I am, so let's make the most of it. This is Andy Bowling. Yeah, I think he's been playing in our fourth 11 this season. Haven't seen him play cricket thus far. Bowls at all. Oh, that's um, just fall short there of someone. That's Lemon. Ian Lemon. Yeah, Andy um, is a professional knife thrower in a nightclub in Croydon. There you go. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. Just uh, use your imagination. Oh, lemon going off. Oh dear. Anything I said? Oh, Derek there with a pathetic use of the boot. Couple of runs. Dano Robinson bowling up the hill. Stalwart of our second 11 over many, many years. Um, I think I might even have played with him a few times back in the day. Um, Dano, uh, clubs Lothario, good in the bar, excellent in the showers, if you know what I mean. Yes, yes. Nice ledge on that, it's gone. Oh, how did that miss? James Allen keeping wicket, well, keeping wicket is the, I suppose it's a technical description, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, despairing dive from Brad, but couldn't save it. Good effort though, he's gone for four. Here he is, Brad Reese coming on to bowl. And why not? Brad, if you want your windows cleaning, Brad's your man. You've got an office, a big house. We'll put a link below. They generously sponsored our development kit. And why not? Saga with the, the long barrier. Ooh, a bolt. Short, that's going to go away. Brad won't get that. <laughs> Jan, the leg side take that I think Will Davis and Rory might have been proud of. Not. There's a real end of term atmosphere about this game today. Because, well, I suppose it is almost the end of the term. Uh, league season finished on Saturday. And as soon as that ended, the weather started and we've got this glorious summer. It's 29 degrees today. A bit warm in the sun. Oh, the knife thrower. Should be accurate. That's a nice looking shot, a fairly, a fairly uh, lackadaisical attempt there by Dano. Oh look, we've got a double teapot. He's never happy about fielding, is he Matt Harris? No, and I can attest to that. You certainly can. I originated him. He did, that's there, you were the, yes, the cause of the original. <laughs> And still the best yes. double teapot in the history of village cricket. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Oh, that's a very poor ball. It's got a bit of declaration bowling, one feels. Whether it's intentional or not, I don't know. Shot. Long way out there. Good arm there from Sonny. Oh, 
Dell just watches that go past him for four. Here's Brad, and we're going to have Sonny on it there, down the hill. So we're going to have Reese at both ends. Oh, that's in the air to no one. Oh, look at Saga. Masterful. The way he knows exactly where to stand. How proper to get down. Captain. Proper, proper falls captain. Yes. <laughs> so Sonny Reese on now. Bold. That's in the air. Who's under that? No one. Didn't even run. There's some good villaging going on here, Matt, isn't there? Oh, look at that. That was pure village. Pure village. I mean, that was a yes, absolutely. Um, splendid. Well, that's seven down now. Three, <laughs> three more wickets, and then it's Tupperware tea time. It's good to see Jeremy Corbyn's uh, growing his beard a little bit and taking up umpiring. Oh, what's this from Brad? Fantastic. Oh, it looks like that on a Saturday night. Oh, look, he's definitely done something. Yes, that's a good shot. Almost a proper cricket shot. Yeah, two there, Dano. Big arm. Jalen stops one. That's good. Now, the score going up. What have we got? Good and there we go, one, four, two, seven. What can they get in the last three wickets? Josh Downey coming on up the hill. Guesting from Cuckfield Cricket Club. Oh, that's gone. Oh. Well, that's in the air. Jalen will catch that. So that's... Eight down now. Well, nice bit of village there. Rubbish ball, not a great attempt at a shot and a class bit of keeping. My word. Well, that's a good biff. Dino's after that. And it's gone. Oh, Dano, I said he's the club of Thara, he'll try anything. Oh, not a bad ball, but uh, Chap gets a bat on it and down he goes. Into the Black Knight bats, boundary board. And we're into the 150s here. I think that's going to be a competitive target. About the way Sanderstead have been chasing this latter half of the season, I think they've probably got, got too many. The declarations come is 155. Yeah. I reckon there's going to be about 30, 35 overs, something like that, to get them. Where well, is Hacky, otherwise known as Len Goodman, off of the Strictly? We'll have a chat in a second. Len Goodman, how's the Strictly going, mate? It's going very well. Unfortunately, I won't be there this year because they've seen we've got these youngsters in. Uh, Didn't want a bit of experience, and uh, yeah. so we've had to settle for that. Well, you're getting on a bit. How old are you now? So um, well, it all depends who's um, on the end of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, good to see you, mate. Officially, I should be 77 in October. Will you really? No. Are you? Yeah. Good Lord. Well done, mate. Yeah. I, I've, I've got to up, up my game. <laughs> don't believe it. No, don't you're believe it. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Well, among many other things, we pride ourselves in being a father-son club here, and here we have a father and son opening partnership. Brad Reese here and his son, Sonny Reese, facing. Magnificent. 156 is the target. There's 50 minutes and then a last hour. I reckon that should be good for about 33, 34 overs. Ooh. Brad, uh, just having a little look at the first one. Oh, and there he goes, across the line again. And uh, unfortunately, he's gone. That's it, that's more like it. Oh, well, that's one down for, for none. Back to football, Brad, eh? <laughs> Giving it a go, though, and why not? Saga Meta in at three. Fourth 11 would-be skipper. Lovely. 
Oh, sags, that's uh, well bold, straight, maybe drifting, I don't know. Ooh. And we're off the mark. Well, little Derek Rushforth dab there from Saga. For two. A pedestrian start for Sarnestead, five for one off five. Three slips and a gully in now. Just racking up the odd single here and there. Got a score at five and over though from here. Slower ball. Hit away beautifully for four. Well, viewers, I've made the effort to get round here and get the scoreboard in shot, but it's massively out of date, and that's a simple court and bold. Little toss. A bit under it. That's something like, I reckon it's 12 or 13 for two now. This is the uh, eighth over. That's a nice shot from Nathan. Lovely little punch off the back foot. Pick up two. Could have been a third. Oh, they're going for the third. Well done. That's out. Beautifully caught. A bit uppish there from Nathan. Goes. It's 29 for three. Josh Downey comes out. Joins Sonny. A couple of 16, 17 year olds. Ah, oh, that's a nice looking shot. Oh, well bowled. Ah, oh, this is good nagging line and length bowling from Wallingham. Pressure mounting on Sanders there. Ah, uh, lovely shot from Josh. Super. It's not gone though, it's just stopped. They should really run through, they've been a little bit slow going through here, but they've done it. Yeah, lovely shot. Oh, that's a full toss. Sonny gives it what it should be given. There we go. Yeah, lovely shot. Bit of wily old spin into the attack, see if we can outfox these youngsters. Nearly did. Good biff there from Sonny. One bounce. Ooh, well the hit. Six. So, less than 100 to win now. Lovely shot from Josh. Oh, and that's a little play on there. It's looking very good, Josh. Oh, stylish, but there you go. Wide old bowler. Sorted that out. That's four down now for about 60. Well, in times of a crisis, this is the man you need. Derek Dell Rushforth. Look at him with his Surrey cap on. That Surrey over 60s brackets, fourth 11. Um, and his black light bat is the the senior ambassador for Black Knight Bats with his dainty little dab and his uh, moo through extra cover oh look he's just checking his usual usual fielders quite an aggressive field for Dell everyone's in on the one which will suit him actually I mean he will he will probably play slightly aggressively well, <laughs> is that descent? <laughs> there we go. Oh, Sonny's eyes will be lighting up at this. Oh, my word. That had to go. It's not going to, it's not going to reach the boundary though. Well, the days of the three are over now that Dell's in. Well, I can see Dell being lured into this guy's trap and being caught somewhere. Oh, well, he kicks it straight through the gap. 
And that's going to go. Or is it? No, it's not. Grass is a bit long today. Let's give Dell a bit of credit there. Gets a two out of it. His trousers falling down. No one wants to see that. <laughs> oh dear. Village. <laughs> Have another go. And he's go. Oh, put him down. It's all happening out here, but not a lot of it cricket. Oh, what was that, Derek? Cool, magnificent. What I really don't know what he was trying to do there. Certainly know that he doesn't know what he was trying to do. Fabulous. Isn't it just awful? thing is he's here and he's having a go which is the main thing I was misinformed earlier viewers it's a 5 30 is the last hour it's another 10 minutes of, of this before then I, I suspect it's uh, it's going to be largely irrelevant Sunset will either get the target or be all out I don't think overs are going to come into it at all oh Sonny played about five or six shots in his head before finally punting it down to long on for a single. Good thing is that brings Dell on strike, captain for today. That's mowed through mid wicket for a couple. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Lost for words, viewers. What would you call that shot? It's a little rubbishy little... I don't know. I, I can't call it anything. Bottom edge onto his pad. Sunny <laughs> uh. doing very well here. Be very watchful. Bowlers again. A lot of bounce now on this hard Sunderstead track. Punts it out to long on for a single. And we've got a bit more Derrick action. I found myself strangely unable to take my eyes off Derrick when he's batting. Oh, look at that. He's just, he's just left it. Oh, my. I don't know what was going on in his head. I think the, the pressures of captaincy might have got to him there. Trudges off. It was all right while it lasted. Well done, Del. That'll be five down now, 76, something like 80 to win off, well, plenty of time. 21, 22 overs. Milan Majithia in now, an interesting bat. Don't know how he'll cope with this tennis ball bounce. Well, that's one way, just let it go. Shouts of bowling him a, bowl him a quicker one, there it was. Ah, that's a lovely shot. Well, Phil, <laughs> as soon as he sees the field of stopping, he says no. Oh, could be a run out here. Well, that's drinks, final 20 overs. 80 to win, that's a simple calculation. Only five wickets left, though. All negotiated there from Sonny. Couple of uh, decent bats in backup. One is Dano Robinson, and the other is oh, Jalen. That's four for Sonny, well done. His younger brother chucking the ball in. He looks like a super cricket as well. Oh, that was a 50. Well done, Sonny. He's got a few 50s this year. Definitely coming on as a batsman. It's good to see. A bit more watchful. Plays a bit straighter. It's the way to do it. And hits the bad ball. And Milan playing under the... Uh, the pressure of impending childbirth. Not him, of course, his wife. And always oh, played about eight shots at that one. And he's mulled it into the hedge for four. Uh, so he puts it through the gap. That's going to stop. Two runs, although they should have the pace for third. One of them's going for third. They've got it. 
Oh man, another flat bat. Another two. Oh, and that's bowled him. Oh, unlucky. So, Sunny goes for a oh, very well made 60 something. I don't know. Played well. Really good. Some Sunny going on with the scoreboard, not sure what. Six down though now. So, 65, I think, to win 17 overs. Just the four wickets left though. I think much depends on Jalla now. He's got to stick around and. Well, he's not going to hang around, that's for sure. Well hit. Come back for the two. Ooh, that is a big one. That's a six. I can never be quite sure with Jalen whether he's trying to win the game or get in the bar early. I, I would imagine it's a bit of both. 50 to win, four wickets left. Oh, good bit of boot work there. Magnificent. That's a nice hit from Milan. Got a back spit on it though, plugged a bit. Challenge coming back for third, is he? Yeah. 44 to win, three wickets left. Didn't middle that. So it's going to be one. Should be seven down, I think. Correction, it is actually six down, but uh, Ian Lemon split his webbing, so he's gone. So we're down to ten men, so it's effectively seven down, but that's a, a superb agricultural moo. Just goes. Well done, Milan. Opening bowler back on for Warlingham. I think that's the right move. Change it ends for the spinner. 33 to win. Oh, Milan. <laughs> Biff's one over mid on for a single. Brings Jalen on strike. Ah, he's gone. Over extra. One bounce, four. Oh, that's a big one. Don't want that back, that's six. Into the school. Oh, and that is into the car park. Oh, it's hit a car. Not mine, thankfully. But all of a sudden it's uh, just 16 to win, I think. Just the one. Nice shot, but he's going to be out. Picked the wrong man there. Nigel Field, he's been around for a long time. Good cricketer. So, that makes it interesting. Just, uh, what have we got? Let's have a look. 15 to win. Just the two wickets left now. Yeah, that's going to be a thriller. Dado must be in now, I'd imagine. No, it's Andy the knife thrower. I have no idea what Andy bats like, but we're about to find out. Sorry, axe thrower. Looks every inch of the axe thrower, doesn't he? Magnificent. Almost looks like a mad axe thrower. 15 to win, two wickets left. Milan's gone for the single, always a mix-up. Milan's made it, and he's made it. 14 to win. Oof. So just a 13 to win now, plenty of overs, but only two wickets. Oh, Ooh. Andy uh, looking safe as houses there. No. So Milan, he's got 13 to win, and oh, pressure on him now. Yeah, that's a good bit of bowling here from this bowler. I think he's got four wickets already. Runs have somewhat dried up since Jalen departed. Expensive. Oh, and he's got a little nick there. Seems as if it's the only way we can get it runs now. Oh, and that's uh, that's gone. I 
think all he needed was a straight one. And that's what he got. So we're on to the last wicket partnership now, needing 12 to win. So Dano Robertson, he's capable. He's just got to be sensible. So 12 to win, getting nervy here, especially with shots like that. Played. Uh, well fielded, pretty crucial that. Saved a couple of runs there. <laughs> oh, oh well bold. That was nearly it. So, come on Dana, what have you got? <gasps> one on the, one on the pad, that could be out. No, shake of the head. Maybe it hit him outside the line, maybe going down the leg side. Who knows? Kick there. They could get two here. They should get two here. And they do. Two leg bars. Stay there. 11 to win. Oh, bold and well played. Good ball, good slow ball. Dano equal to it. Um, oh, that sounds awful. We had, uh, we had. Well, Milan gets a loose ball, and that's going. That's going. Well, well, well. Seven to win. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And Milan gets another loose one. Oh. Hello, beautifully fielded. And they're looking for another one and then Milan wanted it, Dano doesn't. Well, what an eventful dot ball that was. Still six to win. Oh, and that's got to be out. And it is, and it is. That's a good win for Wardingham there. Excellent game of cricket. Went right down to the wire. Sander said, as ever, not quite up to it in the chase this season. It's been a a bit of a problem um, but anyway good old friendly game and and uh, yeah holding a win by six runs the bar beckons what a great way to spend a Wednesday afternoon in September lovely hot day it's cooling down now the insects are biting we'll have the bats flying around soon we'll also have the beer flowing Splendid. Our good friends warning them. We love playing them. Bit of Pilgrim's progress going on here. And uh, Derek, yes, sir. that's the losing captain. Yes, sir. What have you got to say for yourself? Not a lot. No. Cricket, cricket was the winner. Was it? Yes, cricket was the winner. Excellent. Excellent. Well, yeah, well, Wallingham was the winner, but. Uh, well, no, they renamed yeah. themselves to cricket. Yeah. Okay, what about your innings, mate? Yes, Not a lot. No. No, it wasn't very nice. The trousers kept falling down. Well, something was happening. It was very funny. It was like a Brian Ricks farce. <laughs> Thanks, pal. That's all right, mate. Well Love done. You. <laughs> Well, and this is it. This is the uh, final act of the season. Jalen. Well, what about it, mate? You picked out the only bloke on the side who's as good a catcher as you. <laughs> well, I mean, my team is saying that I had six drops today. Yeah, you had a couple. Oh, uh, as keeper. But I'm not going to lie. A few of them were down the leg side, and I was just trying to get out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Only a Wednesday. Yeah. Have you thought of giving up that keeping experiment? No, no, I'm going to pursue it. <laughs> oh, Will God. Davies, watch out. Oh, my God. Watch out for what? I don't know. Oh, dear. Anyway, this is what it's all about. It's the Wallingham lads enjoying a decent pint, and everyone else enjoying a decent pint. Fabulous stuff. Last home game of the season. Splendid. Oh, no. No, no, no,